Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. Whether your interest is survival or convenience, few can argue the merits of a takedown 22 rifle. It's powerful enough to hunt small and large game as well as be used for self-defense. But no matter what you're preparing for, ammunition is always going to be a concern. Do you have enough? What do you do when you run out? Earlier this year, I learned of Primal Gear Unlimited and their brand new compact folding survival bow. And it really piqued my interest as somebody who likes to be prepared for when things might not be going as smoothly as they should. Because, of course, with a bow, you can always make your own ammunition. You don't have to worry about it like you do with a firearm. This bow was designed from the ground up to be a survival bow, to be tough enough to be there when you need it. I've been using it for some time, and I've come to realize that this bow has met its design criteria and more. And that's why the Compact Folding Survival Bow by Primal Gear is coming up next on Twang and Bang. Compact Folding Survival Bow is a great name for this because that's exactly what it is. It's small, it folds, and it's designed to survive. The riser is machined from 6061 aluminum with channels that fully contain the limbs when they're folded. The arrow cutout is also the arrow rest, and it's covered with synthetic fibers for a silent draw. A simple Velcro strap holds the bow close as well as holds the string in place when not in use. In fact, the locking bolts are the only mechanical devices on this bow, and the bow will even function without those. The bow weighs a scant two and a quarter pounds, which is extremely lightweight. With its straight limbs, it's technically a long bow, but at 59 inches long, it's actually pretty short. You can get it with 50 or 55 pound draw limbs, and it easily converts to right or left handed draw. The speed is a function of your personal draw length, but with the 55 pound limbs and the supplied arrows, you can get up to 180 feet per second. Deploying the bow requires no tools and is very quick and easy. After removing the locking strap and the string from storage, you turn the locking bolt so it's parallel with the limbs, fold the limbs out, and then snug the locking bolt back down. The only other thing left to do is to string the bow, which you do exactly the same as any other recurve or longbow. This string comes with one big loop and one small loop. The big loop slips over the top limb, and the small loop is placed into the string notch and the lower limb. You use your preferred method of tensioning the bow, slide the big loop to the string notch on the upper limb, and then confirm that both loops are retained by the string notches. Then you're ready to shoot. This is just a close-up of how the retaining bolts work. Remember, they're steel bolts threaded into aluminum, so you want to snug them down gently. Don't over-torque them. Once in place, those limbs aren't going anywhere. What you're about to see is known as a dry fire. <laughs> Never ever do this to your bow. Never let anybody do this to your bow. It can cause a lot of stress, a lot of strain. And I do this only to show how durable the limbs are. Even the string itself was undamaged, showing that there's no question this bow is built to last. If you take care of it, it's guaranteed to be there when you need it. Awesome. It did fine. All the shooting done in this video, including the opening clip, was done after that dry fire test. And as you can see, I had no problem stacking the arrows just the same as I did before I dry fired this bow. There are no sights on this bow, so you have to shoot it instinctively. But if they can teach Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts how to shoot bows instinctively, you can learn how to do it. It's been decades since I've shot a bow without some sights on it, and I had no problems picking up right where I left off as a kid. And I felt like a kid in how much fun I was having shooting this bow. And though I seem pretty close to the target, this is well within the range that I've actually harvested over half of the deer I've ever shot in my life, even with rifles. Get good shooting at 10 to 15 yards, and you'll be able to take plenty of small game and deer when you need to. As tough as this bow is when deployed, it's even tougher when folded. Those limbs are fully protected by that 6061 aluminum riser. Whether it's bouncing around the back of a vehicle or bouncing down a hill after you've tripped, this bow is clearly built to take it. I don't know of any other bow in the market that can so easily handle the abuse that this one just did. In fact, this riser is so tough, it could even be used as a weapon by itself. <laughs> Destroyed. 
Oh, I hate when that happens. Even though that worked out okay, I still would rather use this as a bow, and it does a really good job of that. That's a perfect hard shot. And yes, I am gonna do the cheesy hunting show fist pump. I think it's pretty clear by that footage just how much fun I have shooting this bow. And now that I have it, it's way more about recreation than it is about survival. Of course, if you're looking for a survival bow, I think that footage makes it very clear that this is the one to get because it's going to be there when you need it. And if you're someone who thinks having a rifle like one of these is important, I think you're someone who's going to find having one of these bows important as well. If you want to learn more about the Compact Folding Survival Bow by Primal Gear Unlimited, be sure to click the link in the video description below. If you like this video, please take the time to log into YouTube and click the like button. It'll really help me out. Be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.